this is lesson seven and actually I'm going to revisit uh, lesson one in in this video um, for the following reason um, I've removed or deleted let me see if I undo what I did I deleted the wall systems on both floors and the reason I I'm doing that I'm going to show an alternative approach to modeling those things. The, uh, originally, when I explained lesson one, every wall on the first and second floor were part of one system. The preference is to proceed uh, hierarchically, that is, to model the exterior, the building shell, and then to model the interior walls as um, separate elements. And most of what you do as interior architects will be the work with, an, with existing conditions, so you, you need that flexibility, that flexibility, that control over your model. So let's go, and we're not going to do anything differently, we're just going to do it separately. So let's go um, and turn on the, oops, visibility of the of floor one. I'm going to hide the ceiling at level two, the roof, the floor slab at level two, and the roof. So um, actually we, we may as well hide everything else just so that it doesn't interfere with our drawing. The reason you want to group and hide geometry in SketchUp is so that you don't accidentally snap to uh, uh, geometry that, that's lying about the model. Worst of all worlds, that you can accidentally slap, snap to hidden geometry, which is very hard to isolate. So I'm using the CAD drawing on level one as an underlay. I'm outlining. Oops, let's turn off shadows as well. I'm outlining exterior face of wall and then draw interior face of wall. That's a rectangle that describes both those. Then subtract the inside rectangle so that you can select Go to ISO mode, turn off the underlay to make sure you have a clean uh, profile so that you can select the profile of the exterior walls and create an extrusion. We know from the model that the uh, floor to floor height from level 1 to level 2 is 9 feet 4. Triple click, edit, make group. Now we're going to need to add additional layer layers to differentiate exterior uh, walls exterior from walls interior. So I'm going to call this walls exterior floor one. And we're going to take this group and move it two walls, exterior floor one, right? Let's turn off the visibility of that, turn on the visibility of the underlay drawing for level two, go to a top view, same procedure polygon that defines the exterior face of the building, interior face of the building, subtract the interior, go to an isometric view, you could toggle off the plan to make sure you have a clean profile. After a while you become confident in your ability to uh, draw that 
And then we want to push this to uh, the height of level 2, which I forgot. So let's turn on the... Um, one of the sections. And hold the shift key to snap to the underside of the roof element. You can see that that's our roof eave. And that height was 9.4. That looks about right. Triple click that system. Make it a group. We need a layer for it. Walls exterior floor two. And move that to walls exterior floor two. Um, now I'm going to proceed to the interior walls. If you were doing a commercial building, the hierarchy would be exterior walls, demising walls, the walls that separate the corridors um, from the least uh, space and, uh, and connect stairwells to each other, and then the demising walls that separate the spaces from each other. So I'm going to organize my visibilities here, turn off pad for level 2, we don't need this section, we don't need these walls, we do need the underlay for level 1, go to the top view, so we have walls around an elevator, uh, separate the garage area from these spaces, same strategy, except we're excluding anything that appears to be part of the exterior building envelope. There's the outline of the... and closes the elevator. Uh, so I'm just tracing outlines of various walls. You can see the different thicknesses. I think that's it. Let's subtract groups. Oh, we didn't do the inside interior first. The elevator. Subtract that. Go to an ISO view. Turn off the CAD underlay so we can see what we're doing. Let's clean up this drawing by removing extraneous lines. Of course, if you get to a point where you have to start to differentiate uh, walls that you wish to demo and walls that you want to keep, you can get more and you can modify it or, or model all these things discreetly. Right now, we're calling all these walls on level one that are not exterior walls, interior walls. But it's all one system as it's modeled here. So. What I'm saying is that you could, uh, if you thought you were going to keep this long wall, you would model that as, as uh, interior uh, demising wall, whatever, and then two other uh, create layers for the other walls. Uh, let's push pull to nine. Four. My face style uh, is still set to X-ray. I can sometimes it's useful for illustration purposes to do that. But there's a little dimple in the wall over here because we did not make this interior face uh, flush with that wall, so no big deal. Create a group. Edit, um, make group. Let's rename 
walls for one walls interior for one and let's place the system that we just modeled to walls interior for one I'm uh, whose visibility was off so it disappeared and if I uh, toggle this back on okay um, the procedure would be identical for the second floor but I'm going to do that in a separate video because there are walls of varying heights and the second floor is a little more complicated because those walls only go as far as the ceiling on floor two and not to the underside of the roof so that's a that's a unique condition for this model that we'll have to consider separately thanks